All right, guys, I got it out. Yeah, buddy, that's what we're here for. Hey everyone, so uh, we're doing something a little bit different today, doing a little bit of scouting. And I've already walked around and found some stuff and I'm excited, it's, it's gonna be a good day. We're right by a very good exposure for ammonites and clams and all sorts of stuff but check this out already I'll have to get close-ups later because there's some fine detail in here but man that thing is just loaded with snail fossils gastropods all right well let's get ready okay guys two things so just found this which has some great calcite right in there but oh there's so many fossils in here but it gets cooler as I said we are actually here for ammonites and this is a very good sign. <laughs> that is actually a section of an ammonite. You can see the sutures right there and on this on the outside. So I am extremely encouraged by seeing that. We just started. Oh my gosh. So I just flipped this. <laughs> Look at all the gastropods. Oh, that is awesome. I'll put this up on the hill so that I remember to come back for it because it's kind of heavy. Just made a cool discovery. All these gastropods, there's so many. But the cool thing is, look at the vein of calcite. That is awesome. And yeah, some of these are just really, really nice. That's so cool. Oh man, I'm loving this. Oh yeah, look at all the calcite up here. Oh man, that is some pretty stuff. Death plate, she says. Oh gosh, I almost fall over. Ooh. Oh, there's a bracket pod in that one. Cool. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, really big. Okay, now that's what we're looking for. I don't think it's complete, but you can see part of an ammonite in that one right here. Mmm, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Man, there's just so many little gastropods everywhere. It's amazing. Dude, that's another piece of an ammonite. These things look like they're huge. Well, that's just exciting. And there is just little fossils everywhere. That is super exciting. Hmm. Again, finding pieces of ammonite. So that is incredibly encouraging. It's just a matter of keeping at it till we spot one, I think. I mean, that you could pretty much describe the whole of rock hunting that way, but you know, whatever. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, we did it. That's an ammonite, right? Right in here. Hoping the shadow will show that shape well. Oh yeah, sweet. This big rock, can you hold this just for five seconds, Alexis? Thank you. <laughs> this giant rock that I was just standing on is a death plate. If you get in closer, you can see there are just fossils everywhere in this thing. And I'm seeing a bunch of shell imprints. I'm seeing a bunch of um, clams and stuff like that. But the thing that has us both pretty excited is... Are yes, are those specifically. No, uh, <laughs> I'm starting to see a bunch of ammonite imprints, which is super exciting. Yeah, see, that be where an ammonite was. So I'm excited now. We're gonna do some looking around and see if we can't find some. I'm excited, guys. But look what Alexis just found. <laughs> look at that big clamshell. Dude, these are nice fossils. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, which is just crazy. <laughs> Look at these imprints. These are negatives from, from ammonites. So huge one right here, huge one right here, huge one right here. Like those are huge. Oh my good Lord. Wow. Or maybe it is. I think it is, but wow, that's big. That's like small dinner plate sized. Uh, thank you for licking the, my uh, screen there, Molly. This is amazing. Guys, I think we finally got one. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's loose. Come on, you can do it. I gotta be so careful with this. Uh, 
One sec, let me get this out first. All right, guys, I got it out. Yeah, buddy, that's what we're here for. That's a beautiful ammonite. Oh, I love it. That's so exciting. Oh, it's got great sutures. Dude, I'm so happy right now. Lexus just found a good little one. Oh, this is awesome. I was expecting the snails, but the, the ammonites are kind of a very, very, very pleasant surprise. There's a piece of an ammonite right there. Dude, finding little oysters and clamshells, calcite crystals, gastropods just absolutely everywhere. This is a really cool area. <laughs> Alexis has so many little tiny shells and I love it. Those are so cool. Oh man, that one's super shiny. Wow. Dude, this is awesome. What do you got there? This one's really pretty. Oh, look how calcified it is. Wow. Those are so dang cool. Oh man. Look at that big seam of calcite right there. And then all around it, the thing is just surrounded by gastropods. That is so cool. I love this thing so much. That is just amazing. Oh, I want one of those. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, we're not finding any of these monsters, but I'd still count finding any as a success. That, and we have very limited time today, so either way, I'm, I'm thrilled about that. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. What a find this is. Wow, that is fossilized amazingly. It, the Goodwill tag is even still intact. Wow, find of the day right there. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. We did way better than I was expecting, honestly, like crazy stuff. And I am already very excited to come back here. And we just had limited time today, but yeah, as far as the scouting trip goes, I would call this a major success. So let's get back to the shop and prep some of those ammonites. Swear, that AC kicks on every time I'm about to start recording. Anyway, though, uh, we're back. We have awesome stuff, and before I show you any of them, let us do the thing. Oh, you don't know what the thing is? The thing is prepping. Okay, so we're going to do some of the ammonites as well, of course, obviously. But I think to start, we should actually work on some of these gastropodiums gastropod sorry you've come here for for useful information i should probably curb my sarcasm anyway though yeah we're gonna prep some of these they're gonna be really cool i think got a, a very wide range of species here i love that big one it's gonna be so pretty and yeah some of these are just absolutely loaded but you can't see all of them and then after that i will tell you when but after that we're gonna work on some of these you look at those little ridges right there, I think there's an ammonite hiding in here. We will find out. I don't know. Um, there could be. Either way, though, on the back side, the thing is just filled with more gastropods. Same with this one. I see ridges, which means ammonite. But even if it's not a complete ammonite, look at all the gastropods. It's amazing. I love that sight, and we are going back, for sure. So. Without further stalling, let us do the scribbly scribing thing. I could definitely go farther with this. There's definitely a lot more in here, but um, if I do every single one of these, like expose every snail on all of these, uh, <laughs> well here, let me let me give you a little refresher. If we try to do all the snails on all these concretions, we're gonna be here all month. So um, for now, I will come back to this on my own time, but how cool are those? I loves it, that's awesome. All right, on to the next one. Which one? Uh, let's do this one. Small should go pretty quick. All right, you know what? Um, 
I'm seeing how much time this is going to take, and we haven't even gotten to the Ammonites yet. So, uh, rapid fire time. This is lightning round. Uh, let's just get through these as fast as we can. Uh, close ups at the end. I'm getting antsy. I we ammonites. I, we just we just gotta get to ammonites. I've got a fever, and the only prescription is more ammonites. Sometimes, when you're using the scribe, you'll just flake little bits off here and there, and then that moment happens where a giant flake comes off, and it is so satisfying. So yeah, if you can see, now we're down under on this side. Oh, it's got some nice sutures, but we have a very, very happy surprise right here. Check it out. It'll be much easier to see once I prep it a little bit further, but what we have right here is actually an apple snail. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, I love it. All right, well, I'm happy. I'm so glad I grabbed this one because it probably did not look like much when we started. Last one, but probably the best one. We've got this beauty right here. Let's do it. All right, so let's start with some of the raw pieces that we haven't touched yet. I mean, just look at that. We get up close, you can really just see how absolutely freaking loaded these things are with gastropods. It's just so cool. It would take forever to prep all of them, so I'm not doing any more today, but yeah, they're just loaded. There's so many. I love it. They're so very cool. And then some of them are like this, where there's a bunch of gastropods that are like sitting on top of calcite. And some of these, which have different fossils inside of there. Looks like a nice oyster. Speaking of nice oysters, where did I put it? Here it is. This one still has like pearlescence on its shell. I think that's so cool. You can't talk me out of it. I think it's amazing. All right. Yes, now onto the ones that we did prep. So we've got this little beauty right here. Actually, it might be better if I turn, there we go. There's just so much variation in this one. We've got some gastropods. There's a little muscle somewhere in here, and then this clam. I just love these things. I can't get bored of them. Yeah, more gastropods and another clam. There's just so much going on. I think this is the one we started with. Look at those beautiful little casts. I don't know, with some of them, it's easier to save the shell. But with some of them, like these, that were already on the surface, if the shell's already gone, um, it kind of just looks not as good if you leave it on. I'll explain that better in a second because I actually have a good example of that. So yeah, and then we got this one, which is just loaded. And this was lazy. This was super lazy. If we go in and actually spend a good amount of time like excavating all of these gastropods, this could be one heck of a showpiece. And then there's clams in this one. They're just so cool. I think these two are my favorites from those though, just because it's such a perfect little sit on your desk specimen. I love it. So perfect. And then this one, just because that's such a nice, nice shell. And we were able to save the uh, the shell layer on the whole thing, which is awesome. All right, before we move on to the ammonites, I just wanted to show this. You, you guys knew I wasn't going to be able to 
to, to leave without taking home at least one of these death plates with me. Um, there's really just a bunch of uh, gastropods. I don't think there's any ammonites in this one. But as you can see, I couldn't walk away from that perfect negative. It's so cool. I love it so much. It's amazing. It's also extremely heavy. So, yeah, I don't know what we do with this. We could prep the, the gastropods, but there's also a bunch of calcite in there, so it's probably going to be a little difficult. I don't know. I'm inclined to just put it in my garden. I like it. Also, before anyone scolds me for uh, taking something way bigger than I need, um, this was the smallest one. This is literally the smallest piece that had a negative that I could find. <laughs> I would have happily brought one like a third this size. I couldn't find any. This is the small one over All there. Right, and that brings us to the ammonites. So here's that little beauty Alexis found. Nice little one. Got some gastropods near it, but I think that could be said for all of the fossils we found that day. Just so many gastropods. He's a little misshapen, but I don't even care. An ammonite's an ammonite. Am I right? Anyway. And we got this nice one right here, which prepped very, very well. Showed both sides, which is awesome. Uh, it's actually, shockingly, lightly calcified. I couldn't tell at first, but yeah. So we might have to go back and polish that at some point, but it's super nice. I kind of just like it the way it is. And we'll probably polish it. Either way, though. <laughs> um, and we got this one. Which is super, super nice. Let me get down a little farther. Okay. So, you may notice that I very, very lightly polished that. And that is just because this one is was uh, so weathered on the surface that you couldn't really see any of the sutures. So I figured if we gave it a little polish, just a very, very light polish, it would make all of that detail pop out more. And I'd say it does. It looks really good. It's not so much to give it like a full-blown polish like, uh, oh, where's an example? Where's an example? Oh, come on, there, okay, there's one. I was gonna say, I have fossils all over my bench and I can't find one. We didn't do a full-blown polish like that, but, you know, just enough to make it stand out. We might do a full polish, I don't know. Anyway, though, look at that thing. All right, so this one is the example that I was referring to. This one right here. It was on the outside, unfortunately, like on the corner of the conglomerate. And then you can see just how weathered it got on its face right there. But because of that, the majority of the shell in this entire area got popped off. So I prepped it in a way where I could leave the shell intact. And it just looked super weird and beat up and kind of odd. So I opted to remove the shell so that it looks a little more uniform. And I'm happy I did. But yeah, you can see it's just... A little apple snail. This is a, you know, modern apple snail. And then this is an apple snail cast. And yeah, you can see, that's totally, definitely 200% what that is. And it's super cool. But yeah, uh, considering what this looked like beforehand, I don't know if you remember, you know what? Here's a little image right here. Blah. That's what it looked like. Anyway, <laughs> I'd say it went through quite the transformation. This is a really cool one. And that brings us to the prize of the day. That's so nice. I believe it's a Placentoceros. Doesn't have ex extreme ridges, but it has wonderful sutures. And the backside as well. Just so much sutures. Wow, that's a kind of a tongue twister. Anyway, though, it's gorgeous and I love it. And I did not polish it at all. That is just natural sheen. You may notice it made it look a little different. And that is because I uh, removed all of the shell on this one as well. And that's just so we could see those sutures. So yeah, uh, considering that all just started out as a scouting trip, I'd say we did very well. I'm very, very happy. Alrighty, well, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Is that not awesome or what? Like, ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> I have some fossil spots that I go to where ammonites are, you know, there. Like, you, they can be found, but pretty much nowhere in Montana are ammonites really common that I knew about before. Uh, mind blown. We will be back, for sure, because I need one of those big boys, like, that's my life's goal at this moment. Let me know which find was your favorite down in the comments, and uh, if you think I earned it, but only if you think I earned it, like and subscribe so you don't miss more of these adventures, which we do regularly. I'll have links to various stuff. It, the, the list is getting long, so just stuff. There's stuff in the description. Check it out. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.